Well, it's Christmas 2020 and I just got a brand new Honeycomb Bravo throttle quadrant to complete my Microsoft Flight Simulator setup. Unfortunately, when I went to set up the throttle quadrant, I thought I got a defective unit because the throttle number two would not work. But after some troubleshooting, I was able to determine that the hardware in fact was working. It was a bug with Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm recording this on December 26, 2020, and the current version of Microsoft Flight Simulator is 1.12.13.0. I'll briefly discuss what the problem with the throttle setup is and how to fix it. You plug in your Bravo throttle quadrant to Microsoft Flight Simulator. By default, it is set up with a general aviation twin engine aircraft. As you can see, I've gone into the controls, Bravo throttle quadrant, the default profile, and I'll quickly demonstrate how the various levers work. You can see as I move the red levers, it moves the mixture axis, uh, mixture one and two axis. You can also see that both uh, axes have the reverse axis checkbox selected. Likewise for the propellers, everything here has a reverse axis checkbox selected. The blue levers move the propeller axes, axis one and two, everything works fine. The problem occurs is when we go down to the throttles, you can see if I move throttle one, the, the lever, it works fine, just like the prop in the mixture. But if I move throttle two, nothing happens. The slider there is stuck at 50%. Just rebinding the lever doesn't work. You actually have to go into the throttle axis and clear it out. Whenever you change the default profile, you're prompted to rename a new profile, and this one's now called Bravo Throttle Quadrant Profile. By default, the keybinds are filtered to only show the assigned keybinds. So when you delete the Throttle 2, it's eliminated from the visible list. The simplest way to see Throttle 2 again is to go up to Search and Search by Name and type in Throttle 2. After you've done that, all you have to do is select Throttle 2 Axis from the list and rebind the lever by clicking on start scanning and just move lever number two and it will find it. Validate it. And as you can see, the throttle now works. Just remember to go back and click reverse axis to make sure that the throttle will work properly. So that's all there is to this fix. Your throttle quadrant is indeed not broken. It's just a little bit of a bug here in Microsoft Flight Simulator.